Hi, it's Payam here from Niche Advice. Hope you're well. I know what you're thinking. I've got rid of the dodgy tash, but it will make a return. It will make a return. I was just fed up with all the comments comparing me to Pepe the Banco out of, um, I think it was out of EastEnders. Um, anyway, with that serious note over, um, I thought we'll talk about um, buy-to-let mortgages and rental calculations and how rental calculations work with buy-to-let mortgages in regards to you know lower rate taxpayers, maybe limited company, how that works when it comes to rental calculation. Now this is a very big subject, so all I've done is I've delved you know into a slight part of it, which is you know just working out the basic rental calculations on a two-year and a five-year with one of the main sort of mainstream sort of, sort of lenders out there, buy to lenders. So it's really a practical guide on what we should do and, and how we what we look at in regards to brokers. Um, so I hope you find this useful. If you do find these videos useful, you can really help me by liking and subscribing. It really does help us massively. And if you did like it, then thumbs up and hit the bell icon. If you didn't like it, thumbs down and leave a, leave a crappy comment for me. But uh, hopefully, so far, it's been very, very positive. Good feedback for the channel. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And yeah, let's crack on and do the video. Thank you. Nice. Right, I thought I'd deal with uh, another matter that we get quite a lot and it's around rental calculations and how rental calculations can differ between different lenders, the different types of calculations. I thought we'll just go through a, a practical example on, on the screen with one of the most, you know, the largest lenders out there and how they see rental calculations. But uh, when it comes to buy to lend mortgages, it's not just about the rate. It's not just about the fees, it's about doability of the mortgage. So obviously lending criteria is very, very important. Um, and obviously rental calculations play a big factor uh, to whether you can borrow what you want to borrow to make the deal work. So um, um, I thought I'll showcase our website here. This website has been running for about 12 years now and I wrote, I write almost on a weekly basis, maybe one or two, one or two articles a week on this site. So there's a lot of information and resources on there. Obviously, if you're looking for something, you can press the search here. But if you go to About Us, uh, some of the common questions that I get, how much do you charge? Well, it's pretty straightforward. We, we've got our charging structure here. Um, we've got our blog page here. And there's literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of articles. Some useful ones like shared ownership versus help to buy, landlords, we're talking about limited company stuff, we're talking about stamp duty stuff, bridging loans. Um, so all sorts of articles on this website. And you know, you've got your video libraries and all the all the various sections here around uh, you know, we've got some tools, some buy to let sort of articles around different types of buy to let. So um we do a whole host of different types of mortgages but let's get to i'm going a bit off topic really let's get to the rental calculations now for this i've ch chosen a lender which is an intermediary focused lender and this is an intermediary site so it's really not for public use and all i'm going to show to you is just the rental calculations part so if we come down here it says is it a limited company because limited companies are worked out differently so for this lender they work it out on 125% for landlords uh, with no more than three rental properties. If you have three or more, you will basically fall into the portfolio landlord uh, category, and that's a little bit more uh, comprehensive in terms of what they need, and there are some restrictions around that, some income restrictions with some lenders, certainly loan to value, and stress testing across portfolios. So it's not just the property that you're buying, but also what you own uh, in your portfolio that gets tested. For this example, let's just do a very quick example. Let's say it's not in a limited company. Let's say it, we don't own more than 10 properties and let's say it's a buy to let and it's not a let to buy. Let's just go for purchase. Let's assume you're both lower rate taxpayers or you're a low rate taxpayer from this example. Uh, let's put it, I don't know, 350,000 pound property value and let's just say 1400 pounds there. Now, what I wanted to let you know was literally, um, it says here, now most mortgages are being done at 75% loan to value. Uh, and this comes up to the question that I get first is, um, Pyam, can you send me a two year and five year quote? Um, and this almost explains uh, what's the meanings around the two year and a five year and why people, why I'm seeing a lot more five year fixes. 
Um, and it's not necessarily because people want to lock themselves away. It's more around rental calculations. So if we look at the 65% loan to value deal, um, it's giving you a maximum loan for a two year and it's the same maximum loan for a five year because 350, 350 at 65% is 227,500, okay? However, you want to borrow 75% loan to value. So what? let's have a look at it on 75% here. On a two year, the maximum they're willing to lend based on that rental income is 244,363. So it's shy of the 75%. However, if you do go for a five year fixed and tie yourself in for five years, they are gonna be more generous. And that's because lenders will treat it, and all lenders have got different uh, calculations. Different lenders treat uh, rental calculations differently. Now. I've gone with a very vanilla, very good rate lender out there, okay? So these rate rates will be around the 2% mark, okay? However, uh, there, may, there may be lenders uh, that would be willing to lend more, um, but, you know, a higher rate. But in this scenario, 75% is enough. And the buy-to-let market, although there are one or two lenders that will do 80% loan-to-value, is generally sitting at 75% loan-to-value, which means you need to have 25% deposit. Um, so in this scenario it works, but we can let's go and let's go and play around with the scenario. Okay, now if you were buying something a little bit cheaper, maybe let's go for a hundred and eighty thousand pound property, and let's say it's going to achieve I don't know eight hundred pounds. Okay, same situation. We go back here, and uh, what did we say the property value was? Let's say one hundred eighty. So one hundred eighty times seventy-five. So we're really looking for one hundred thirty-five thousand pounds. So when the property value becomes cheaper it's actually more doable in terms of rental calculations so on a two year it fits and on a five year fits it fit it fits okay so at 75 percent loan to value you can get a two year and a five year fix let's go and do that now for i don't know a five hundred and fifty thousand pound property maybe with a rental income of 1800 pounds okay let's see if that works Okay, so 550 times 75. So we're looking, we're looking at 412,500, okay, at 75% loan to value. Look, guys, you'll see the big difference here now. Look, two year fix is coming in at 314,181, and a five year fix is 384. So now, the, the way it works with a two year fix is all lenders have to abide by, all lenders that fall under the uh, regulatory body, the Prudential Regulatory Authority, um, uh, basically have to abide by the PRA rules, which means um, they've got a set of calculations. So all two-year fixes are on the same calculations. And what I will do is I will put, it's generally 125% at five and a half or 145% at five and a half. So what I will do is I will put that rental calculation for all two-year fixes in my notes below this okay now when it comes to five-year fixes it's a little bit more interesting because different lenders will treat it differently okay so I gave you this scenario where um, basically the maximum for this type of property was 384 okay so there are lenders that will actually we could probably get 75% loan to value out of that so in this scenario it's a lot less than 75% um, but let's just give it one more change and the change will be it's that first question is it in a buy to, uh, in a limited company so let's just go and change that and say we're now buying it within a limited company it's a purchase the stress testing will be done at 125 percent everything else will remain the same and under a limited company although with this lender you can borrow more it's still not 75 percent loan to value okay so when people say to me um, and now this lender will have very good rates on limited companies so that's where advice comes along so it's not just about the lender the rate the rental calculation um, the lending criteria it may have based on you it may you may have a portfolio you might be a portfolio landlord you may have low income your income might be different the property type might be different um, you know so it's, it's all relevant. So I just wanted to give you an idea around um, rental calculations and what, why people go to different lenders, why it's not as simple as going to the top lender on the list 
and uh, you know coming up with things so this particular lender very very good lender very vanilla lender however they may not be as good on rental calculation certainly on property types on lease types uh, for example um, uh, around uh, deposits they're not that great so there are lots of reasons why you would go to this lender and not another lender and so vice versa um, but I hope that you found this useful around rental calculations and how they can differ like I said um, we've got access to the whole of the market we're totally independent so if you do want to have a chat with me um, do give give us a call and hopefully uh, you find these videos useful if you did like this please hit like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. It really does help me get up the search engine ranking and try to beat all those other brokers out there that are obviously trying to take my business away. But uh, I hope you find this useful. No, I, I'm only joking around the other brokers. There's plenty of business for everybody here. And, and I hope you find value in my videos um, and uh, we'll, we'll take it as that. Thank you. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.